it's almost summer. And I'm just like, why couldn't this have come in the winter time? This would have been the perfect thing for winter, like winter and staying at home. Whatever. We call this Finn, cause in the end we only have the ends Got no friends, so if you catch me with them, that's my kin that's my we begins, we took a L of stuff for learn to win and now Ooh, hey. I'm trying to decide Where way to go Welcome back to All Things Chemistry Pull up a chair and get ready, okay? Cause this time we're cooking We're quarantined and I know for extroverts, you are really like probably racking your brain with how much more time we're going to be inside. And as an introvert, I'm praying it never ends because this is a dream come true. I have recently transitioned into veganism and I'm vegan-ish because I'm still learning. There are things that are still very, very new to me. Um, it's been a really, really smooth transition, except my sister bought some home running pizza and I'm, like, oh, I'm eating some pizza, okay? Like I haven't had any dairy or or any type of meat at that point, but home running pizza, bye. I'm eating some pizza. So I'm vegan-ish, but <laughs> one thing I can say is it's been very, very exciting, um, teaching me new recipes, teaching me new things, giving me the ability to try new things without being very biased. And so, yeah, I just decided to show you guys some of the things that I've learned to cook. Some of these meals, I don't, well, none of them. I don't even have names for these meals. I don't know what you would like to call them, but you can name them. I'm totally fine with that. I think I've only had one fail this entire month with the meals that I've made and learned how to make. So buckle up your seat belts because I'm in the kitchen, okay? And this isn't one of those talking as I go videos because most times I'm just like, trying to get myself to remember to just grab my phone and record so most of these i'll do a voiceover but i hope you enjoy and again these are different meals they're good for if you're vegetarian if you're vegan i would say definitely just look at the ingredients and if you find things that aren't vegan leave that in the comment section i'm still learning it's still very new to me i'm only one month in and you know, I learn new things every day. I want to send a shout out to Caitlin Shoemaker. She is one of the YouTubers that I watch. She does a lot of vegan meals and meal prep things. And one of these meals I got from her and it actually is really good. Um, another person I'd like to shout out is Love Your Naturals because um, one of the meals, I think the one with the plantain, she was the one who uh, did a tutorial on that and I liked it and I actually made it and it was great. And I ate it for maybe the first two weeks that I was vegan. So um, a lot of these meals are very inexpensive. Um, I do want to warn you that when you buy fresh produce or you're cooking with things like potatoes or things that require you to buy them fresh, chop them or clean them and then do additional prep before you start cooking them, that they will take a lot longer. So I would say um, one of the meals that you may choose to cook may have a lot of prep time, but I don't think I spent more than an hour on any of these meals, maybe not even 45 minutes, but depending on what you prefer, just make sure you allow prep time for your vegetables and potatoes or whatever else that you are getting. So yeah. Um, let me know how y'all doing with y'all quarantine. I'm in school still and my major is online and it's still lay struggle, but it's nice to be at home and be able to, when I get bored or when I'm tired to try to grab a book or look online and try to add to my discussion board. And I mean, I'm still a terrible student, but I'm a happier, terrible student because I don't have to leave and I don't have to do much. And if you are watching this video, one thing I do want to encourage you to do is to reach out to your family members, your friends, reach out to somebody who's recently moved. If you know people who may have just lost a loved one or recently ha are dealing with grief, to just reach out and send them a text. You don't have to call them if you're not comfortable with that. But just be thoughtful of those who may live alone or maybe in a new town or away at school because... Um, with this type of isolation and you just want to be able to be there for people even if you physically can't be there just sending a text sometimes can be um, all the the love and care somebody needs in that moment that's my soapbox moment but all right on to the cooking so all of these meals super super fun and super easy very colorful also very good and I'm biased because I made it and I enjoyed it and I mean I'll tell y'all if I didn't like it I would say it I tried to make some macaroni and cheese sauce, minus the dairy, 
and it tasted like warm dog throw up. 99% accuracy for this. I'll take it. Okay, I'll say 97 because I ate some pizza. So, you know. But, again, this is just something fun that I've been trying to keep myself busy with. All right. So, here we go. All right, so bet. Recipe number one, there is no name for it, but it's a great little pasta dish. So I went to Aldi and Walmart and got all of my ingredients. Um, I did use all of my hummus for the sauce, and I did use a full container of noodles. Now for the rest of the peppers and the mushrooms and minced garlic, um, you can be as gracious or be very frugal with those if you'd like. I did use the full bag of spinach also because I love spinach and I wanted to make sure to have enough vegetables. So in a pan, a saucepan, I saute my vegetables and mushrooms together and I season to taste. Now this may not be vegan, but don't tell nobody this stuff is good. But you can use whatever you like and you can incorporate meat if you like to. Now this is what a full bag of spinach looks like, but it will reduce down. And while I saute my peppers, I was boiling my noodles to kind of reduce my cook time. Once you add your hummus, you would like to take some of the pasta water to thin out the hummus just to make sure it's a little bit more creamy and not as thick. And use as much or as little water as you'd like. Once you boil the noodles, then you add everything together and you are ready to eat. And this was fire, y'all. I'm being biased, but it really was good. So definitely try that and let me know how you like it. Now for recipe number two, this one incorporates plantains and some asparagus and some sausage-less sausage. Now this is my first time making plantains, so please get a YouTube video on how to cook that, okay? The sausage-less sausage was already kind of pre-cooked, but I still sauteed that in the pan with some avocado oil to give it a little crisp because I like texture. I can't cut red onions, so judge me. But here's my asparagus and peppers blend. And towards the end, I did add some butternut squash. And it was really good. That was my first time even making plantains, and it was fire. So, lastly, recipe number three is my little ghetto take on stir fry. Now, I cheated and kind of bought an oriental stir fry vegetable mix, which came with sauce, but I still added a few more vegetables. And I added some beefless beef. And if you want, you can incorporate whatever meat that you would like. It's totally up to you. I put on a pot for my water and also a pan to saute my vegetables. And you'll also need another pan to kind of steam your vegetables, but still cook according to what you can manage. If you have to cook it step by step, do that. But I wanted to cook quick and easy meals. So in one pan, I sauteed my vegetables and then added my beefless beef just so that can all get mixed together and get some flavors going. In another pan next to it, I did add my vegetables to start steaming those. And then I added my rice to the boiling water once it was ready. So everything was kind of going at once. And just like that, you see all coordinated and whatnot. But I did end up adding everything to a stir fry pan just because it was bigger and gave me a lot more space. I can't toss everything yet, but I did add everything one by one. I added a little soy sauce to the rice to give it a little more color. And I did use a little of the oriental stir fry sauce. But again, if you know how to make your own sauce or you have things you want to add, add them. But this was really good also. And it makes a lot. So please hit the comment section. Let me know what you think and give me some more ideas. I appreciate you stopping by. And 